Boys and girls, it's Friday, May 22nd. Happy Friday, and today is a very busy Zoom day. So at 10 o'clock, I'll try to keep it short with our book club conversation. At 11.30, you have instrumental music with Dr. Schultz and Mr. Weber. At 1.45, you have music with Ms. Bashir, and 2.30, you have your optional library time. All your specials pages are here, and our Padlet is here. For reading today, it's Friday, so you're just going to read the agreed upon amount of your book club book. We're going to be having our book club discussion at our Zoom today. But of course, if you'd like to go ahead and continue your conversation beyond our class time, feel free to connect with your group as long as it's all right with your families. Be ready to discuss today the following questions. What makes the text of your book club right now a fantasy? Is it the magic? Is there an epic quest? Is there a powerful sidekick or someone who has magician or magic or secret powers? What's going to make your book classify as a fantasy? And then as we're thinking about using our writing to help us with our writing, what can we borrow from the author or what can we borrow from this book that you're reading to put into your own fantasy writing? So are you enjoying the setting? Do you think there's certain character traits that your character has that you might want to incorporate? Are there relationships you're finding that are interesting? Or do you want to kind of adopt the problem in your own story? So for today, for writing fantasy, I want to use it as a catch-up day. We've had some trouble this week completing the fantasy work. So I want to see that you use this time to complete any unfinished assignments. You'll see in your writing folder that and there's comments on slides that you might not have completed. So go into the fantasy setting and character brainstorm. If you didn't do that on Seesaw, make sure you complete that. The Pixar study, watching those short films and showing what communications and sounds you noticed, that's in your writing folder. And our paper brag princess from the last two days. We still have some friends who need to complete the story mountain and a lot of friends that need to complete the Padlet and reflection. So please take this time to go back and complete that work and play a little catch up today. So for math, we're going to start off with IXL. Remember to click on this specific link or go through the Heathcote gateway as it is a different login than the regular IXL to the rest of the world. It's a specific Scarsdale Schools login. So when you get in, you're going to see that there's these five stars kind of shaded in yellow under the time category. So do T1 through 5. And remember, you're looking to get up to a score of 80 to move on to the next one. You can go to 100 if you want, but you only have to go up to a score of 80 on that right-hand side. You're going to be able to have some fun today creating. So if you have some time, watch the video to learn all about sundials. And then here's a link here that's going to help you make your own sundial. So of course, when you do it, take a picture and show us. Can't wait to see how you do. There's also something fun we want to show you. Why we've been talking about time, you probably know Big Ben, right? And Big Ben in London is this like iconic symbol in London. But I want to show you this video called Keeping the Time to learn about the technology that contributes to Big Ben's accurate timekeeping. So please go ahead and watch this video by logging into scarsdaleschools.org slash discovery education. When you click on that link, you're just going to sign in with your regular username and password. It's going to bring you to a page and it has your name on it with the assignments. You'll see Memorial Day videos that I couldn't put in yesterday that you'll be able to see today. And you'll see a new video called Keeping Time. Time. If you're having trouble with any of this login, you can go ahead and just click on this link. Oh, well, however, it would be helpful if you could try logging in because then we can assign you future videos through that way. But today, if you're having trouble, just click on that link. For Memorial Day today, we're going to continue the conversation about what makes this day special. Assigned to you is a brain pop video and a quiz. So always go to the Heathcote Gateway and log in the correct way, being sure you use the G Suite for Education button. Then you're going to look for your Memorial Day assignment while you watch the full video and complete the quiz. Now, some of us, when we take our quiz, I don't think we're returning back to the video, just like we would read and go back to the text, of course you can go back to the video to answer questions. So don't be afraid if you don't know the answer to something. So if you're coming across a question, you go, oh my goodness, I have no idea. Go back to the video. That's what we do with reading, right? So always practice those great like strategies across the medium that you're using.
want to have some fun and get outside, feeling like a physical challenge, check out this obstacle course and have some fun while being creative. And if you can't get to it today, try it with this, this with your family this weekend and have some fun. So I think you'll really enjoy this obstacle course. So our smart fact today is on this day in 2003 in Fort Worth, Texas, Annika Sormstam became the first woman to play the PGA Tour in 58 years. So 58 years with only men. And she cracked in and she became the first female athlete to participate. So I want you to go ahead and hit this button to find out the 25 most famous women athletes and then the definitive guide to female athlete role models of 2020. So a little girl power today. By the end of the day, you're going to complete, of course, first and foremost, your Zooms. Then you're going to just keep reading your book club book, and you're going to have to do some bingo board assignments for many of you who did not do it yesterday. For fantasy, again, this is just catch-up work. So eight of us need to complete the Padlet and that slide reflection on eight. So make sure you're going back and taking the time today to complete your work there. For math, you're just IXLing for category T, one through five. You're trying to make a sundial and you're going to explore Big Ben on discovery education. And for social studies, you're going to complete the they're going to complete the Memorial Day assignment on Brain Pop, making sure you sign in with G Suite. So third graders, I will see you at 10 o'clock for our quick book club discussion so I can get you on your way, get working and kind of participate in those Zooms. I will see you then.